Hey everybody, Scott Ogan coming at you. We are talking about your garage golf setup. Why do you not hit the ball as far indoors? All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Why do you not hit the ball as far as indoors when you're outside? Well, Here's a couple of reasons why I hear it all the time. Let's go over them. Before I do that, click that subscribe button down below and make sure you click that bell for notifications on our upcoming videos. But onto the garage, let's talk about it. Here we go. So we're talking about garage setups. Everybody nowadays seems to be getting a garage setup or having one or practicing indoors and everybody's got issues with how the ball reacts, all that stuff and why it could happen. Now, before we do that, the one thing that you should pay attention to is it could be your launch monitor, all right? Make sure your launch monitor is reading correctly, but if it is, I think most of them nowadays are doing okay. SkyTrack, I do actually find very, very good on yardages, so I think you are probably good. It's just a matter of how you swing. So, number one reason you're not hitting it as far when you hit indoors in your garage. All right, so when we get inside, the first thing that we have to look at is space, okay? If you saw one of our previous videos, you saw that I started my whole setup in a garage. I know what it's like to be very, very confined. What happens is we get into space, okay? When you're indoors and the screen is closer, we start to not swing as hard, flat out. I just see it when I measure swing speed. So you have to, first off, very, very, very carefully make sure that you have plenty of room because when this club starts going, it does get a lot wider in its arc than probably what you're used to doing. So, because the speed picks it up, so make sure you got a lot of room. If you can do that, then you gotta work on letting it fly. I gotta get up here and be able to feel like, all right, I can go and I got lots of room to whip this thing around, make a few swings, Give it a rip, just hit it as hard as you can, working on getting your speed up as fast as possible inside. That's gonna be the first thing I see. People aren't swinging as fast when they're indoors. Second thing I see is spatial awareness. When we're indoors, we tend to get unaware of our space. What the big thing that happens is, people get focused, they look at this ball they look at the screen right in here in front of them and they get so fixated on that screen that they start making different swings. A lot of times people will go back, they go back and because they see that screen there, they try to swing the club at the target line. And so what actually happens is they start swinging over the top, they get a little steeper and they start putting a ton of backspin on the ball, okay? They're not hitting it how they would when they're outside, which would be, you know, if you're, especially if you're trying to draw it, maybe a little bit more out to the right. So you have to be aware of where you're swinging. So I like picking out, let's say I'm gonna hit a draw. I'm going to swing that club path for a draw at the corner of my netting over here or at the side of the screen. You have to get used to that. It can be tough because you usually have stuff in the way, net objects. Again, I used to do this in my garage. There was a cement wall right there, if I hit it dead straight where I was swinging, that was gonna be a problem. But you have to have some faith, some trust in that, and that's gonna get your swing and the ball launch condition back where they should be so the ball will go farther. So check your spatial awareness, check where you're swinging related to the objects that are around you. That's a huge thing that you should do in the golf course anyway, but you should definitely do indoors. All right, number three is we are talking about contact. Your contact is probably not as good as you would like. So what do I see a lot of times when we go in? It's, we're hitting off a mat. If your mat is not the greatest especially, people are afraid of mats, okay? Temp typically, you're afraid of a mat because there's no give in it. When you hit the mat behind it, it will bounce, okay? That can hurt sometimes. Now, if you hit the ball correctly, typically you skimming the mat a little bit more, 
But if you don't have a good mat, I had a bad mat before, and you know my elbows and my forearms started hurting from doing that. That makes you not too inclined to hit it. So what you need to do is check your contact. Where are you at? So what I see is a lot of people get low on the face. They start hitting them. Even if it's a good looking shot, it's still a little bit bladed because they're not gonna get down into the mat. They don't want that feeling. Check that out. Get some foot spray, some Dr. Scholl's, put it on the face, some impact tape, put it on the face and see where you're hitting it. Be careful of that impact tape. It will make the ball go farther without even doing anything. So just make sure you're hitting it in the middle and then see how far you're going. But good solid contact is the third one indoors that'll make it go farther. All right, so that's my three reasons why I see people struggle to hit the ball farther indoors or they lack distance. I've, having played simulator golf since the 2000, year 2000 was my first season doing it. As a high school kid, walked to a shop downtown. I found it very, very good. I still will walk in and people will tell me that, hey, that's off or this. And I'll say, all right, give me a club, I'll hit it and I'll call the yardage. They very, very much have improved that aspect. That's the one thing I think they get right out of all of it, even if you have some areas that are a little bit sketchy on their launches. So check that out, try that out, analyze your, your way you're swinging it indoors and see if this helps you out. As always, leave a comment below, let us know what you think and click that subscribe button. We'd love to help you out with your game some more. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.